This one did the gospel writer recorded. Then said Jesus unto them again, Verily, verily, I say unto you, I am the door of the sheep, and all, all that ever came before me are thieves and robbers. But the sheep did not hear them. I am the door. By me, if any man enter in, he shall be saved, and shall go in and out, and find pasture. You may be seated. Thank you, Master. Lord, we thank you today for the acknowledgement of the way, acknowledgement of who you are in our lives, and for the recognition that with you all things are possible. Yes, I pray, Father, that you would allow your word to saturate our hearts and our minds, that we may go forth as doers and not just hearers, that our living will touch the lives of others, that they may come to receive you as their Lord and their Savior. We thank you, Father, thank for these blessings and we count it a joy to be able to call upon your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You can go ahead and, and, and retire. You know, every once in a while, we have to go back and, and, and refocus ourselves on, on who it is that we serve. Amen. And um, when we do that, it helps us to appreciate how blessed we are Amen. Yes. To, to have Amen to have a, a savior that yes, has sacrificed Lord. so much that we might have a right to salvation. I know that's right. um, in the text that we look at now, it is a, a simple dialogue that is going on uh, with, with Jesus as he addresses the uh, concerns of some scribes and Pharisees. It, it falls on the heels of a, a miracle where Jesus has um, he has uh, healed uh, a gentleman that was born blind. And, and after he heals this man, there is a conflict because some question uh, uh, whether or not it was appropriate for this man to be healed and whether or not this man should give Jesus the glory for what he had done to him. And, 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 and so the, the scribes and the Pharisees, um, because they want to take the attention away from Christ, mm -hmm. they, they pressure this young man to say that he ought to not lift up Christ for what he had done. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and so the, the blind man, he, he kind of turns the table in that he tells them that, that, that I cannot attest to who this man is, but when I can attest to the fact that whereas I once was blind, now I see. And so because of that, I feel compelled to recognize him as the one that uh, took my blindness away and gave me sight. And, 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 and so during the discourse, Jesus, uh, in an effort to help correct the situation, he gives them a parable. And the parable he gives to them is a simple one in that he says that, that anyone that wants to guide the sheep out of the pasture that they are in must come through the gate or the door to the sheepfold. And that, 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 that the, 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 those that guard the gate the the uh, the porter, the sheepdogs, they know who the the, sh the correct shepherd is, mm -hmm. and so they will only allow the individual to come and get the sheep who is the rightful owner of the sheep. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> now it appears from his his continual discussion with with the scribes that they did not quite understand what he meant. So he clarifies mm -hmm. in verses uh, seven through nine, where he says that, that, that I am the door. Yes. Yes. 
Yes. To the sheep. Yeah, yeah. All right, man. And if any man comes through the door, mm -hmm. yes. he shall be saved. Exactly. Because everybody that comes in to where I am, uh -huh. I have something there for them that will guarantee their <coughs> safety and their salvation. Right. Now, when we when we when we look at doors, here's what I am left to, to ponder. That that when you look at the Bible and 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 and, and how it speaks of doors, it it, 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 it gives us a, a spiritual picture and helps us to understand that that some doors that we walk through lead us to prosperity. But some doors that we walk through can lead us to problems. Mm -hmm. Because every door is not a doorway that has been established by God. Amen. Good word. But some doors are open by the devil. Uh -huh. Talking all right. And and if we walk through the wrong door, it can have a adverse impact on us for years to come. I was watching a, t a TV program the other day, and it had a group of, of, of murderers that were in jail. And, and they were in a group um, counseling session discussing how they came to be locked up for life. And the counselor asked them, if you could change one thing in your life, what would it be? Each one of them were able to pinpoint one point in their life where if they had made a different turn, mm -hmm. they would have been in a different place. Right. Because when you look at doors, what we find is, is that it is easy to walk <laughs> through the wrong door <laughs> and end up in the wrong place at the wrong time. So Jesus says to them, I am the door. That I am the door to salvation. That if you want to be saved, if you want to live a life where your regrets are minimized, then you have to come through me to get to where you want to go. Now, oftentimes our question in our life is, why do I need Jesus in my life? And even though the answer seems crystal clear, it is oftentimes difficult for us to reconcile. And the reality is that every man that is born of a woman mm -hmm. is born with a sinful nature. We know this because from the moment a child begins to talk, they formulate lives mm -hmm. and they look to do things that you know are contrary to what you would have them to do. Amen. And what each of us knows is in our own heart, we often are led more to wrong mm -hmm. than we are to right. Amen. Good word. And so that would suggest that each of us has an innate uh, uh, way that you can get to that point where you can have a, a, a stability that will allow you to walk in righteousness and have God on your side. All right. Now, and it says not only that, but any man that comes in shall be saved. Any and all that comes in shall be saved. What does that mean? That anybody no matter what your past is, Thank you, Father. can be saved. Thank you, Father. That means that the desire of God is mm -hmm. for everybody yes, to be saved. Amen. That means that, that while people will look at your past and they will say that you are beyond hope and beyond help because of how they want to judge you, Jesus is saying here that I am not going to hold your past against you. Thank you, Father. 
And I'm not going to let your past prevent you from having a future that is worthy of a child of a king. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Yeah. So, 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 so then, uh, 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 what others judge us for, Jesus says, I'm not going to hold that against you. Thank you, man. Thank right? you, Father. Yeah, okay, all right, all right. Because, 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 because other people uh, 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 will, will, will judge me by things that have nothing to do with who I am. But he says everybody can come in. Amen. So that means that I'm not, I'm not, I'm not forced to, I'm not forced to be judged from Christ by by the type of outfit that I have on. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah. So because 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 even though folk will say, "Come as you are." Well, say so, Pastor. Yeah. If I do come as I am, mm -hmm. then there will be some people. That will judge me because I came as I am. Yeah, they 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 will look at me on the outside, and they will determine based on my hairstyle. Come on, preacher. Right? Yeah. If 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 I got dreadlocks, if if I'm not dressed the way they think I ought to dress, then they will presume that that is an indication of who I am. If I look like I am a a a a a, uh, a indigent person, then they don't think I'm good enough for God. Come on, preacher. But Jesus says, all that come, if any man enter in, if any man come to the door, that's including one man. Come on, preacher. So ladies, we're not leaving y'all out. That means if any man come to the door, that you can't be saved. Man. Then he said you can go in and out. Yeah. What does that mean then, preacher? That I can come in and out. Jesus is making a, a statement here. That everybody that come in, don't stay in. Well, yeah. uh, 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 Because our, our assertion usually is that once I come in, I'm going to stay in. Work. Yeah. But here's reality. reality. Yes, sir. That just because I get saved in January. Come on now. Come on. Help them out. And I'm trying to do right in February. Yeah. That doesn't mean that temptation ain't gonna come in March. Come on. Come on. That doesn't mean in April I'm not gonna go back yeah. the way I was before January. Yeah. Even though I made a a, 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 a a statement in January that for God I live. And for God I die, that there are going to be some circumstances that will cause me to go back on that which I have said I was going to do. Now, but what Jesus said is if I go out and come back in, because everybody ain't going everybody ain't gonna stay in. But if I go out and come back in, that I will find pasture. Thank you, Father. I'll find green pasture. I'm going to stay there for just a minute and we're going to close on up. So he said that there is an open door policy. Come on, preacher. And that he is the door. Yeah. Open door policy. Which means anybody that won't to come in yeah. can come in. Yeah. And anybody that come in yeah. and go back out, yeah. they can come back home. Yeah. And that's what the gospel is like. Yeah. That, that, and as long as I know where my home is, yeah. because there are some sheep that will wander out of the sheep folk. Come on, there are some folk that will presume that the grass is greener yeah. on the yeah. other side. Yeah. Can y'all can, can get right. preach this thing? Yeah. But, but once you get on the other side, I need somebody that that they left the sheep fold and went out there and found out when they got out there that the grass was not greener on the other side. Can, can y'all act like can y'all act like you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. But, but but even though you was out there and 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 the folk that was still on the inside looked at you like you had no right to come back home. 
you knew in your heart that you had already gone through the door. Yeah. And because you knew who the door yeah. was, yes. come Jesus. on somebody, yeah, because you knew who the door yeah. was, yeah. not based on what folk had told you, yeah. but because you had a personal yeah. relationship yeah. with the door. Yeah. And because the door had been a blessing in your life, in your past. Yeah. And because you knew that even when you came oh. in the first time, that I mean, I'm talking about. when you came in the first time, you weren't always right then. Yeah. But the door opened up anyway. And the door said, come on in. All you that labor and are heavy labor. And you know you had some heaviness in your heart. That, that kept you from coming in. Because you were not sure if you could bring all of your dirt on the inside. And that God would be what the folk told you he would be. But look out somebody. But you came in with your dirt anyway. And even though there was some folk on the inside that did not accept your dirt, Jesus, Jesus let you come in just like you were. And the reason why you knew that Jesus accepted you just like you were is because when you called on the name of your Lord, yeah, you had a combination by the name of the Holy Ghost that let you back in the door. And so when you came in, you knew he was your God. Why? Because when you used that name, when you needed to get back in, when you had been pushed out and pushed around, but you needed some help. I cannot talk to somebody. That needed some help. That needed some hope. Yes, sir. when you called on that name, and you needed your help to come down. Yeah. You can feel your help coming on. Yeah. It was midnight hour. Yeah. Other folk can walk away from you. Yeah. And when you got back on the inside, yeah. you knew everything was going to be all right. Yeah. Now you can feel something deep down on the inside yeah. that let you know that what I needed, God got it. Yeah. What I wanted, yeah. God got it. And even though I may not have been always what I should have been, God took me on my foot. And it's so I need. And even though I stepped outside more than one time, every time I came back in, my Jesus was right there. And even though other folk didn't want me to come in, y'all need to come on talk back to me.
Jesus said, all yes, uh, that all come to me. Come. Yeah. Everybody that come. Yes, sir. Yes. I really know why. Cast them out. Thank you, Father. You can walk out. Yeah. Well, he ain't going to put you out. Yeah. There is no eviction. Yeah. Because you don't pay your rent. Thank you. Because it's already been paid. Yeah. You can walk to the front. Therefore, you ain't got to worry about being put out. When they get when the evictor come, he'll look at you uh -huh. and he'll see the blood. Uh -huh. And so you already been paid for. Uh -huh. You know, you've already been shown. Uh -huh. uh -huh. And even if your music too loud, come on, come on, son. Uh -huh. Even if your music too loud, uh -huh. they still can't put you out. Uh -huh. Y'all don't understand what I say if your music too loud. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. If you're not doing what other folks want you to do, uh -huh. they still can't put you out. Even if you don't look like they want you to live, they still can't put you out. Why? Because the door is easy. He got you locked in. Yes, sir. They argue back and forth, sir. They argue back and forth about whether or not and who we ought to give glory to, who we ought to recognize. Jesus says to them, wait a minute, let me solve this problem for you, yeah. once and for all. Yeah. I know your problem mm -hmm. with this blind man that I have healed. I know I didn't give you the whole layout, but I know some of y'all, you know, let me, let, me, let me bring up speed right quick. He said, I know you thought that the blind man that I healed was not worthy to be healed. Because you're looking at what he's done and where he's been, you're looking at his pedigree. Yeah. And because you think his pedigree, Come your on, presumption man. is Come he did not worthy for my healing. Yeah. So Jesus said, I want you to understand something. I am the door. Yes, sir. And because I am the door, that means that I have the right to decide who can come through the door. You don't own the door. I am the door. And I'm telling you, I will open the door for whosoever will let him come. Now, I say that, drop that on you because some of us who are walking through the door, there are people that will presume that we are not worthy to be in the house. Yes. But you are worthy. Yes. See, folks won't yes. judge you by what they consider yes. to be your yes. right or righteous lifestyle. Yes. But Jesus said they don't own the door. Yes. Therefore, you can walk in the door, be yes. proud to in the door, yes. you can rise and shine, yes. you can give God the glory, yes. and not worry about what other folks think of you yes. because you are in the door. Yes. chance you walk out the door, uh -huh. you will always come back home. Yeah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Thank you, you Thank you, Master. In life, yes, Lord. there are several opportunities to walk through the wrong door. Yeah. Yes, several opportunities. And it's easy to be called through the wrong door. Uh -huh. But if you want to end up in a place where your regrets are minimized, Jesus said the answer is simple. Walk through my door. Because unlike other folk, I'm not going to reverse my decision to bless you. Ah, let me try it one more time. Thank you. He said that you can go in and out and, and you'll still find pasture. Yes, Lord. He says if you come through my door, I won't reverse my decision. Come on now. That's hallelujah. It. Glory. I'll still bless you. Yeah. Glory, hallelujah. I'll still look out for you. Thank you. And I bet you right now, if I were to hold this congregation, that 99.9% of you would have to admit Come on now. that I walked out the door. Yeah. Got out there. Yeah. And when I call on that name, yeah. that name, you still bless me. Yeah. That name. And they are, they are folk in our lives that we need to help to understand that. All right, I'm going to say this uh, two, three minutes, and then I'm, I'm going to be done, quiet, so y'all can be ready. Let me tell you something. Our mission in 2019 
is to help people see the door. Yes, to help people understand the importance of accepting Christ as their Savior. Yes. Because we all need a Savior. Yes. Yes. Amen. We're born in sin and we need Jesus in our life. Amen. The reason why many people don't want to walk through the door is the same reason why we didn't want to walk through the door. We didn't want to come in because of, we, because of who was on the other side of the door. Amen. 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 I ain't talking about Jesus' door. Right. Right. I'm talking church. about the church door. Yeah. Right. See, when we walked in the church and we saw all the holy folk on come the on, inside, preacher. you know I'm just using that term loosely, right? right? When we saw all the holy folk on the inside and the way they talked about us yeah. who were on the outside, right. yeah. we just decided, why well, come on the inside? When folk don't even want us in there anyway. Yeah. They said they wanted us to come right. in, but when we came in, they talked about yeah. us. Yeah. They talked about how we dressed, they talked right. about how we talked, how we walked, and what we did yeah. on Saturday night. Right. Yeah, yeah, you smell like alcohol. Right. We were there. You smell like you still smoking so, a little pot. Yeah. Yeah. You still smell yeah. like cool and Shame Salem and yeah. the new folks and all yeah. this kind of thing. Yeah. Right? Yeah. yeah. And so we didn't want to come in that way. Because the door seem too difficult to come in and go back. Yeah. Yeah. If we want folk to come in, we have to help people understand that Jesus is the door. Yeah. Ah. That Jesus is the door. Yeah. And that Jesus is going to put you back out. But you don't have to come in perfect. Right. Matter of fact, none of us are going to come in perfect. In. That you want to come in just like you That's are. It. Yeah. And once you get in there, everything ain't going to drop off you That's just right. because you come in. Talking all right, Bruce. And see, 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 some of us have messed folk up by come telling on, them, from the moment I got saved, God took the taste of cigarettes right come out of my mouth. God took the taste of hope hungry right out of my heart. Come on, God yeah. took the taste of drugging right out of my heart. No, he didn't. Be honest with people. Yeah. Right. Let them know. Yeah. I got saved and yeah. I still yeah. had some problems that I was working on. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm saved and saved. Yeah. And I ain't perfect even now. I still uh, got some stuff. Still I'm still yeah. rougher yeah. looking yeah. around the edge. Yeah. Yeah. Every now and again, I still might cuss somebody out. Oh, really? They ain't got no business cussing out. But, but you know what? I got Jesus. I got it. And God, and, and if I mess up, yeah. God still keep on yeah. messing yeah. me in. Yeah. Not because I've been so good, but because I walked through the door. That's right. That's right. We got to let folks know it ain't about perfection. That's it. It's about relationship. Amen. It's about walking through the door of Jesus. Yes, sir. And when we get to letting people know the honesty of about, about who we are and who Christ is in our life, and the simple fact that, you know what? Walking in don't mean you won't walk back out. Mm -hmm. Walking in don't mean every problem is going to disappear yes. from your life. Amen. You're going to still have some things that mess you up every once in a while. Yeah. But here's what you're going to have that they don't have. Jesus. You're going to have Jesus. Jesus. Yeah. You still go through the storm. Oh, but you got Jesus on the road. Oh, yeah. That's the door. That's the door I'm talking about. That same door is open right now. And Jesus is available right now. Thank you. To all those that are ready to receive him as Lord and Savior. And it's not about how wonderful you have been. It's about how wonderful you can become. Yeah. If you're here today and you have not walked through the door, if you have not received Christ as your Savior, we're opening up the doors of the church so you can walk through the door established by Jesus. Amen. If you haven't received Christ as your personal Savior, I invite you to come on down right now and get to know him as your Lord and Master. We need him because of our imperfections. Yeah. We need him because we need a deliverer. We need our Savior yeah. because we want to make heaven our home. Yeah. 